Hey guys, Level Cap here, and welcome to another episode of This Week in Gaming. We do this show every week, so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to catch the next one. DICE have finally started talking about the long-awaited 6.2 update. It launches on Wednesday and will essentially revert the infamous 5.2 weapon balance changes. Players have been in a rage since the patch launched last December, as it fundamentally changed the time to kill of most weapons for the worse. Since then, DICE have issued a minor tweak, but have basically been radio silent about future tweaks until now. We'll be getting the patch notes for the 6.2 update on Tuesday, so be sure to stay tuned for full coverage. The next event for Apex Legends System Override kicks off Tuesday. It adds a new game mode called Deja Loot, which features fixed loot locations and Evo shields. These act like regular shields, but their level is increased the more damage you do. So they start at level 1, and after a few kills you'll be wearing a purple shield. There's also a new red tier that gives even more protection than gold shields. It's an interesting concept and could mix things up a bit if it was added to the regular mode. The second week of the event will feature King's Canyon as the playable map. Currently, these items require buying 500 Apex packs before you'll get a guaranteed heirloom set. You could get one sooner, but the chances are incredibly low. The new system will let you use shards to buy specific heirloom items. Shards will be bundled in Apex packs. Unfortunately, you'll still need to open 500 of them to get enough shards to purchase an item with. The good news, however, is that this event will feature a shortcut to getting the new heirloom item for Octane. Collect 24 items for the event's specific cosmetics, and you'll get Octane's heirloom set for free. These items should be pretty straightforward to get if you play a lot, but you'll have to play a lot to get them without paying. The System Override event ends on March 17th. Call of Duty Modern Warfare's latest update adds a new map called Bazaar. It also adds Shoot House to the 24-7 Rest and Shipment playlist. There's a new Boots on the Ground variant of Ground War that excludes vehicles. And there was a giant infection mode that was quickly removed due to it giving out more XP than intended. The patch notes also listed a bunch of balance changes to several weapons, but players and YouTubers alike are reporting nothing has changed. This could be an error on Infinity Ward's part with just the notes being inaccurate, or something could have actually gone wrong with the update. Star Wars Battlefront 2 also got an update this week. Unlike Modern Warfare's, however, it was pretty substantial. It adds two new reinforcements, the Ewok Hunter and the ISB Agent. There are also new co-op maps and four new default gun classes have been added. Now, for any other game, this might sound like a standard update, but considering that Battlefront 2 hasn't gotten any new base guns since launch, this is a pretty big deal. The co-op mode feels very well-rounded now, the new reinforcements are both a ton of fun, and the new weapons add some actual nuance to the base classes. Overall, it's a very important update in terms of deepening the game's meta. If you want a full overview of the update, be sure to watch the video that we did earlier this week. Insurgency Sandstorm finally has a console release date. The hardcore modern military shooter will go live on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 on August 25th. Sandstorm launched over a year ago on PC. Since then, it's gotten major content updates and optimizations that have made it a pretty solid title. It's still got a ways to go before you could say the devs will have fully realized their vision for the game, but it's pretty great timing to launch the console ports this summer. Optimizations made for the console versions will probably trickle back to the PC version. The summer is generally a pretty quiet time for major shooter releases, and the next-gen consoles are all around the corner. If Sandstorm can establish a console presence similar to how Siege has, it could be poised to be one of the premier shooter launch titles for the next-gen consoles this holiday season. And speaking of Rainbow Six Siege, the game's developers have recently revealed that the title might eventually go free to play. In an interview with PC Gamer, Siege's director said that it was up to Ubisoft, but that the devs would like the game to be as accessible as possible. It could actually be a pretty good move for the game. So far, it's worked out for CSGO, which shares a lot of the competitive gaming scene with Siege. Both games feature a pretty robust anti-cheat system as well. So while the number of cheaters might go up if Siege goes free to play, it will likely be proportionate with the game's overall growth. CSGO saw a spike in cheaters when it went free to play, but that spike was roughly in line with the spike in player count. PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds developers have apologized for the game's myriad of networking gameplay issues in the recent months. 
players have been complaining about matchmaking quality, game performance, crashing, and more for months. The devs have acknowledged these complaints in a blog post outlining their priorities and also giving some insight as to why things have been so rough. In part, they've been working on fixing DDoS attacks directed at the game. The frequency of such attacks have gone up every month since last November and doesn't seem to be slowing down. In response, the devs have deployed experimental DDoS protections that have also caused packet loss for many players. The devs are also prioritizing cheating and performance issues with the game, but they fail to give any specific dates or timelines on improvements. We'll know more in the next week or two as they'll be revealing an updated roadmap for the game in early March. Destiny 2's next season of content will do away with paid loot boxes. The game has an infamous track record for its shady loot box system. It's aggravated players for a variety of reasons, ranging from locking cool cosmetics behind a paywall to actively encouraging pay-to-win behavior. Starting with Season 10, which launches sometime soon, Bright and Grams will be unavailable for purchase. This is the real money currency Destiny 2 uses for its loot boxes. There will be a free season pass progress track that does include Bright and Grams as rewards, however, so players can still buy Engram items. After Season 10, Bungie will likely rework the game's entire cosmetic system to cut down on FOMO, aka fear of missing out, that motivates many players to buy skins just because they're afraid they'll never get them if you don't. This is a widespread industry practice and was somewhat pioneered by Fortnite. Past games, notably CSGO, Rainbow Six Siege, and Overwatch, have all done cosmetics and loot boxes that didn't cause a direct outrage, but Fortnite was really the first game to get players invested in season passes and loot tied to doing specific in-game tasks. As coronavirus outbreaks continue to be reported around the world, several major tech companies have pulled out of upcoming conferences and events. This week alone, Microsoft, Epic, CD Projekt Red, PUBG Corp, Unit, IEM, and more have all pulled out or shut down events they had planned to attend or host. Because it's most severe in Asia, this virus is having a massive impact on the tech industry. In addition to events, it's rumored the spread of the virus is causing delays in the next generation consoles, PC part manufacturing, and even movie productions. Right now, there's really no telling just how severely this virus will spread around the rest of the world, but everybody seems to be taking the maximum precautions. When it comes to dealing with toxic behavior, EA have taken a bold and very public stance this week. They permanently banned a prominent FIFA content creator called Kurt0311. He was already banned from competing in official FIFA events after repeating code of conduct violations. But the ban was expanded to all EA products following him uploading several videos targeting FIFA developers with harassment and threats. Despite EA's struggles to curtail cheating in their titles, it's nice to see them take a strong and public stance against toxic players. Leaks of Riot's upcoming shooter, Project A, have made their way online. They reportedly refer to the game as Valorant and seem to showcase the character Sage. Project A is a hero-based shooter that mashes together CSGO and Overwatch gameplay styles. Early development footage of it was released last year, but there isn't really much to go on besides that. These new leaks include three character names, a screenshot, and more. News about select figures in the esports content creation scene being invited to Riot to check out the game has made the rounds recently, suggesting an announcement of some kind is in the works. The Xbox One X will be able to preserve its resume function even after a reboot. The feature is great for pausing a game and picking it back up a day or two later, but it can often be interrupted by an auto-update of the system or something else that causes a restart. This can be especially painful in checkpoint-based games where the only way to resume progress is to avoid closing the game. In our final story this week, GOG have started offering all customers full refunds with no questions asked up to 30 days after purchasing a game. This means customers can buy, download, and play any title on the store and return it within 30 days. Some see it as a big win for consumers' rights, and others are worried it will be abused to make an extended demo of every game on GOG. Either way, it works in the player's interest, but hopefully it doesn't hurt developers too much. And that wraps it up for today's episode of This Week in Gaming. As always, guys, let me know what you thought was the most interesting story, if you think we might have missed a story that you found interesting, and I'll see you next week. This is Level Cap, signing off.